Hey, what's up you guys? And yes, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. I know it's been a while and if you remember in the last video I said it's in your hands, you can motivate yourself to do something and I guess this, that's a lie because I couldn't motivate myself to make videos again. Um, although I have some crazy nice ideas but I couldn't motivate myself. It's been a weird rough time so I'm sorry for that. So lately I found this YouTuber called The Odd Ones Out. I don't know if you know him. If not, the link is in the description. Please check him out. He's a great YouTuber. He's one of those guys who tells stories with cartoons. So he's an animator. A great one, really. He's making so good videos. And he kind of inspired me to make this video today the because of his series sub Subway Stories. So I worked at this fast food restaurant called MC Donald's. You know, the one guy on the stage he's dropping them dope lyrics on the Donald's. What? <laughs> so in these six months so many crazy things happened. I made so many experiences. So let's start with the story. If I remember it correctly I had the opening shift and trust me when I tell you the opening shift is the best thing you can get when you're working in a fast food restaurant because no one will ever wake up and say like ah oh, let's go to this fast food restaurant I wanna eat something there. I mean there are some people but uh, not, not under the week, you know, like everyone is in school or work or whatever, but no, just no. So, this is the best thing that can happen to you working at the opening shift. Because you don't have any work to do, like, I mean you have work to do, but not that much. I had the opening shift and I was like running from A to B, from B to Z, and whatsoever, I was running around actually, kind of weird when I tell you that that's the best thing you can get. So there was a woman who came to the drive-in, I took her order and then and she was like damn I like your language and the way you talk and you look so nice and whatsoever and I was like what are you are you kind of into me or what do you want to date with me and she was like older like she could have been my mom you know like what the fuck I mean <laughs> so I was like okay um, here's your change have a nice day or something and then she was like uh, yeah I got a job for you do you want another job because you would fit so perfect in my team and I was like hell yeah because I didn't want to work at this place where I was and she was like oh yeah you look so nice and uh, you would fit perfectly into my team and yeah let's meet up here's my number call me whenever you want and stuff and I was like yeah that sounds actually pretty cool because she looked like a businesswoman and I was like yeah, I don't want to work here at this place and the money isn't that good at all so maybe I can make more money in a better job so I called her one day so we made an appointment where we meet and talk about the job I went there and the first thing that I thought was where the fuck am I? not because I didn't know the place I knew the place where I was and it was a freaking huge furniture store. I was like, is here her office? But I, no, no, no way. And then I called her, she didn't um, answer the phone first, and I was like, damn, what, what is going on? We made an appointment to meet and now I'm standing in front of a furniture store? Oh, phone, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> so I called her again, she answered the phone, and she was waiting at the coffee bar upstairs. So I went up, and there she was. And I was thinking like, damn, did she call me to go furniture shopping with her or what am I doing here? I sat down, I said hi, what's up? Yeah, it's kind of weird that we're meeting here. Okay, that's what I thought, but I didn't tell her. And she started talking. And while she talked about the job, I realized, oh my god, that's a fucking trap. You know these people who want to offer you a job, but they don't really offer you a job to pay you on time. It's like, how, how does it call in English? Like a, uh, the, the snowball system? I don't know, I have to Google, but you guys should know what system I'm talking about. You know, these kind of people who make money of recruiting people to sell their fucking shit product, you know? And I was really fucking pissed at this moment. I sat here and I was thinking, damn, I just wasted my motivation to get there 
Not for a job, just to hear her talking about this shit product or shit thing, I'm not fucking interested in it. It's funny, it's actually pretty funny right now, okay? I can laugh about it now. <laughs> I was sitting there, she was talking and talking. Yeah, you can do it uh, and still work at your fast food restaurant. And I was thinking, no, I don't want to stay there anymore. I'm like, I, I came with the thought that I get a new job so I can leave the job I'm not really into it. And you fucking tricked me, okay? That's not really cool. And if you're watching this video, fuck you for wasting my time and wasting my motivation. <laughs> so, if anyone offers you a job, please ask more questions. <laughs> I mean, I did, but they are really, really clever. Like, not clever, they, are, they can trick you into something. So, <laughs> watch out who you're meeting up with. So, I sat there, I was listening to her and she was only saying like, yeah, you can um, start with 10 hours per week and go on with 15 hours and you have to go to this place and this place to learn about this. I don't know, I was thinking like, damn, can this shit be over fast, please? And I said, uh, no, I don't have really much time now because I'm studying and working full time. So that's not a pretty good time for me and I'm moving to my own apartment and stuff and I'm really busy right now and she was like oh yeah but you can and I said no I don't think that I can but thank you for inviting me for this awkward meeting <laughs> okay I didn't say that but I was thinking it and I said yeah you know what I got your phone number I'm gonna call you soon I'm gonna think about it and then I left and I went home so that's one of the stories I have for you while I was working at MC Donald's so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty awkward situation and experience, but way more to come. Trust me, they're all hilarious. So I hope you guys liked this video. There are way more to come because I made so many freaking experiences. And yeah, thinking back about the time there, it was actually pretty fun and a pretty cool experience because it made me work harder for the job I wanted to get. And now I actually got it, so I'm gonna talk about that in another video, I guess. So really appreciate it if you let me some comments telling me if you ever worked in a fast food restaurant or uh, in another job and made some pretty weird experiences or cool experiences because I want to read them all. So I'll see you guys in the next video, I hope, really soon. Because right now uh, it motivates me more like standing, sitting actually in front of the camera and talking to you. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't. So, goodbye.